Hello Aquarius, Sun Moon Rising, and Venus, and welcome to another reading. Let's see the overall energy between you and the person that you're connecting with or will be connecting with. All right. We have released your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. And then we also have past life relationship. You have known each other before. Hmm. Let's see while you're getting these two cards, Aquarius, and how it resonates with your reading for today. But let's focus on you first, and then we'll jump over to them. Still keep in mind, you might resonate more so with the person to the right of me than you do with the person to the left of me, and that's okay. Just kind of pick and choose who you resonate more so with. How does Aquarius currently view? Hmm. Looks like your mind is made up. Yeah. King of Swords, Hermit, and the Eight of Cups. It kind of looks like your mind is made up when it comes down to a certain situation. Um, possibly even a specific person. Because I do feel like for the most part, you are walking away here from someone or something. But it kind of looks like whatever it is that you're walking away from. You've, you've taken time to really think long and hard about it. And it just kind of looks like your mind is made up. There's not really much anybody can say and or do uh, that's going to cause you to change your mind. And that's a typical Aquarius thing. You know, once an Aquarius has their mind made up about something, it's kind of remotely impossible to kind of, you know, convince you guys um, to change your mind. That's one thing that I do uh, know about Aquarius. My mom is an Aquarius. <laughs> All right, let's look at this person. How does this person currently view this relationship? Mm, I see. Aquarius. What's going on, man? We got the Four of Wands. We also have the Two of Swords. Wow. With the Page of Swords. The bottom of the deck. Come on, Aquarius. We got the Ten of Cups. Come on, man. With the Hair of Font. And then we also have the Chariot. What's going on, man? I kind of feel like there is an opportunity, Aquarius, for you to go off and jump into a full-blown committed relationship. Whoever this person is, man, this is somebody who comes off to me as somebody who's pretty dead set on you, okay? This is somebody who only wants you, only sees you, only wants to be with you. This is somebody who's, you know, basically striving for a long-term committed relationship here right between you and them and you're just like yeah absolutely not no thank you i'm good i just want to kind of focus on me and do my own thing but dude i don't know man it kind of looks like a commitment showing up here for you and you're just like yeah no i don't want it no thank you you can send it right back i didn't ask for this I don't know, man. I mean, this is somebody who comes off to me, Aquarius, as somebody who's pretty dead set on you, okay? This is somebody who only sees you, only wants you, okay? And you're just like, yeah, no, I don't think so. Get away from me. Let's see what's going on. How does Aquarius feel? We have the two... I don't even feel like this is you. We have the Two of Cups. We also have the Queen of Wands. Regardless of their gender, this could be a dude for all I know. And then we have the Magician. Aquarius, I think that you know. Like, between you and I, I feel like you know that this is somebody who wants to be with you. I feel like you know this is somebody who's, you know, striving for a long-term committed relationship here between you and them. I feel like you know that. I don't feel like I'm telling you something that you don't know. Now, when it comes down to how you're currently feeling about this relationship, I don't feel like this has anything to do with how you currently feel whatsoever. You know, you're kind of looking at this whole entire situation like, well, yeah, like, I feel like they really do like me and they really do want to be with me and they're very determined to make this happen with me. That's kind of how it's coming off to me anyways. I don't really know how you actually feel um, about this person in particular. So I'm going to take these cards back and I'm going to pull again to see how you feel about this person because it kind of looks like, you know, you're consciously aware that this is somebody who does have a lot of emotions for you. This is somebody who's very determined to make this relationship happen here between you and them. But it's hard to kind of tell how you feel about this person. So let's pull again. How does Aquarius feel? We got the Six of Swords. We got the King of Pentacles. And then we also have the King of Wands. It just kind of looks like currently at the moment, 
you want to really take this time out to focus on you which there's nothing wrong with that Aquarius to be completely honest maybe you feel like you know there's a lot of things that you need to kind of focus on and accomplish first before you jump into a full-blown committed relationship and do that's totally understandable but I feel like that is you know possibly like the main reason why you don't want to jump into a committed relationship because relationships man it does require a lot of your time and a lot of your energy um, and maybe that's something that you just don't want to kind of focus on right now but just be mindful right that there is somebody here that you know clearly wants to work towards a committed relationship with you I mean this is somebody who's pretty fixated on you and only you okay um, but it just kind of looks like currently at the moment you just kind of want to focus on you and getting your life together and focusing on the things that you want to accomplish um, so that's kind of where you're at right now Aquarius of course Maybe you might change your mind. I don't know. Maybe you might change your mind. Who knows? But it just kind of looks like you're pretty dead set on this is what I want to do with my life moving forward. Period. How does a person feel? True pair situation here between you and this person. You are showing up as a king of pentacles regardless of your gender. And they are showing up as a queen of pentacles regardless of their gender. So there's a true pair situation here between you and this person. Anyways, we have the Queen of Pentacles. We also have the Three of Wands. And then we also have the Eight of Cups. The bottom of the deck, we do have the Ace of Pentacles. And then we also have the Knight of Pentacles. I like this person, Aquarius. I really do like this person for you. Um, and I think that, you know, for the most part, the feeling is essentially mutual. I feel like you really do care about this person. I feel like you really do like this person as well. But listen, people like like them is very, very hard to find. That's one thing that I will say. I mean, for crying out fucking loud, this person is showing up as a queen of pentacles slash knight of pentacles. I mean, this is somebody that at the end of the day is going to have your back. This is somebody that you can rely on. This is somebody that you can depend on. This is somebody who's going to be there for you through the good times and the bad times. People like this is very, very hard to find is basically what I'm saying. And this person, to be completely honest, between you and I, they're reaching that point, Aquarius, where they're starting to kind of realize that nothing's growing and evolving here between you and them. And it is causing this person in a way to kind of feel like maybe it's time, you know, for them to possibly take a step back and not invest as much as they have been investing, right? When it comes down to this whole entire situation with you, because technically speaking, it's not being reciprocated back because currently at the moment, you're so dead set on, well, I just want to focus on me and I need to get my life together and, you know, my career and, you know, I want to go do this with my life. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with what you're doing. Nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with what you're doing. Because I kind of feel like a lot of you just want to kind of focus on getting your life together before you jump into a full-blown committed relationship because you know that that's going to require a lot of your time and a lot of your energy. And maybe right now you're just not in that position to offer this person a committed relationship. But it it's hard, man, because they showed up as a fucking queen of pentacles slash knight of pentacles. That's like... I mean, that's that type of person that, like I said, is going to be there for you through the good times and the bad times. This is somebody that you can rely on. This is somebody who's going to end up having your back at the end of the day. So with that being said, I kind of feel like this person is like really trying to put their best foot forward and show you, Aquarius, that they genuinely do have your best interests at heart. They might even feel like, you know, you are the way that you are because you don't trust them. I don't necessarily feel like it has anything to do with the simple fact that you don't trust them. I just kind of feel like, again, you know, you're an Aquarius. And when you guys make up your mind about how you guys want to move forward, that's it. There's not really much anybody can say and or do. But if it's one thing that I will say is this, I mean... This is somebody, man, that, like I said, they're going to be there for you through the good times and the bad times. And people like that are very, very hard to find Aquarius in this day and age. And I know you know that. I know that you know that. Um, the two of you are showing up as a true pair two times. Um, they did show up as a queen of wands. You're showing up as a king of wands. They're also showing up as a queen of pentacles. You're showing up as a king of pentacles. But yeah, currently at the moment, Aquarius... Between you and I, I kind of feel like this person's kind of taking a little bit of a step back, kind of reflecting a little bit like, okay, 
I've been doing this, that, and the third, and it just kind of looks like Aquarius and I were not really... There's no growth here. There's no expansion. I'm not getting the commitment that I want. I'm not getting, you know, the energy that I've been putting into this relationship reciprocated back to me. So just be aware of that. Just be aware, my friend. All right, let's see. Let's see. What actions will Aquarius take towards this person or moving forward? <laughs> very nice, Aquarius. Very, very nice. What actions? All right. We have the Seven of Swords for them. We have the Ace of Swords for them. We also have the Eight of Pentacles for them. Look at how interesting this is. I kind of feel like for the most part, this person, and I already kind of mentioned this already, they're doing a whole lot of reflecting right now, okay? They're basically feeling currently at the moment like, okay, everything that they've been kind of putting into this relationship here between you and them, it's not really giving them what it is that they basically want. I feel like this person, not only do they want to commit a relationship with you, Aquarius, but they want that same energy that they're giving to you reciprocated right back to them. You see what I'm saying? So they're at the verge, like they're this close of basically kind of telling you, you know what? I just don't feel like this is working out because again, you have to just be mindful that they're over here striving, you know, for a committed relationship here between you and them. And because they're not basically getting that from you, it's causing them to basically feel like they're basically wasting their time. Right. And I think that for the most part, I mean, that's understandable why they would feel that way. Right. But I feel like this person's like at the verge of telling you, you know what, like, I feel like I'm wasting my time. I don't feel like this is going to work out because, you know, I'm not getting the commitment that I want. You know, Aquarius is not reciprocating that energy back to me in return, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But we have the Seven of Pentacles. We also have the King of Cups and then we also have the Queen of Cups. I love the way that this whole situation is kind of coming to an end here. Not literally coming to an end, but you know what I mean. I kind of feel like for the most part, this is you having an all of a sudden change of heart. All right. People like this person is very, very hard to find, especially in this fucking generation. It's very hard to find somebody that you can trust, somebody that you could depend on, somebody who's going to be there for you through the good times and the bad times. I feel like this person has proven themselves to you, Aquarius. Okay, I feel like they have. And I kind of feel like for the most part, this is you kind of taking time out to really reflect on all of the stuff that this person has done for you thus far thus far and i kind of feel like this is you acknowledging that and appreciating that and valuing that and reciprocating that which i absolutely love so i'm not saying i just want to kind of throw that out there for those who are resonating with the person to the right of me i'm not saying that you're going to jump into a full-blown committed relationship with this person i'm not saying that what i am saying is that moving forward it just kind of looks like you're starting to come to terms with the fact that man like this person is down for me this person has my back this person really cares about me this person really loves me let me reciprocate that back to them in return now that could very well basically indicate that you know you're choosing to give into this person and give into this connection and go off and possibly even pursue you know a serious committed relationship here with this person it could definitely indicate that but ultimately the decision is entirely up to you because it's kind of hard to tell aquarius if if you are going to go off and jump into a full-blown committed relationship with this person, I can't really say if that's basically what you're going to do moving forward, but everybody's different. For some of you, you might decide to go off and just say, fuck it. Let's just, you know, jump into a full-blown committed relationship with one another. Let's make this happen. You might even go as far to do that. And for some of you, you may not. For others of you, you might just feel like, you know what? This is somebody who cares about me. This is somebody who loves me. This is somebody who clearly appreciates me and values me. Let me reciprocate that back in return. So with that being said, I love how things are coming to an end because this person's at the verge. Like they're this fucking close Aquarius from being like, you know what? This is not working out. I'm not really getting that, that that same energy that I'm basically giving to Aquarius in return. And the fact that you are ending this reading the way that you're ending it is kind of telling me that the moment that this person 
you know, starts to reach that point of telling you, yo, you know what, I don't think that this is going to work out, is the moment that you start really showing how much you really do love and appreciate this person and value this person and everything that they've done for you thus far. Because I feel like this person has done a lot and I also feel like this person has proven themselves to you. But somebody like this Aquarius, dude, in this freaking day and age, that's very fucking hard to find. Very, very hard to find. We have reconciliation. We also have make the effort. And then we also have trust. At the bottom of the deck, we do have soulmate. With soulmate and reconciliation is very similar to like the six of cups, two of cups. There is a lot of love here between you and this person. Like I said, I feel like you do love this person. I feel like this person does love you. I feel like the both of you care for one another deeply. But the fact that you are starting to kind of reciprocate that energy back to them in return and showing them how much you do value them and appreciate them, it is going to bring the two of you closer together. And it is going to basically reassure this person that they're not doing all of this for nothing. Because it does cause this person at times to between you and I to feel like damn like I'm doing all of this for nothing like Aquarius is not reciprocating that energy back to me in return someone else had a similar message I believe I believe it was Capricorn if I'm not mistaken so you could be connecting with a Capricorn I mean the Queen of Pentacles is Capricorn energy um, but it doesn't have to be a Capricorn but Capricorn had a similar message so it just kind of looks like moving forward things are going to start to really settle down here between you and them but like I said this person is very very close Aquarius like close dude like close from getting up and walking away because they feel like all that they're putting into this relationship is not being reciprocated back. But the fact that you're really turning things around here between you and them, it's going to bring the two of you closer together. And it's going to cause this person to feel like you see them, like you appreciate them and all that they've been doing for you thus far. So with that being said, it's looking good towards the end. I'm not worried about it. I don't feel like this person is going to leave you. I don't feel like any of those things are going to happen. I think that right when they're kind of at the verge of saying, that's it, I can't do this anymore, is the moment that you come in and you really do turn things around here between you and them, which I really do like. Like I said, somebody like this is very, very hard to find in this day and age. So consider yourself blessed to say the least, all right? So hopefully this reading resonates with you. Hopefully it brings you some clarity in regards to whoever it is that you're connecting with or will be connecting with. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.